Okay, so today we're going to be having a look at something that we haven't seen before. This is the Nexstar 3 Super Speed external 3.5 inch hard drive enclosure. It doesn't include a hard drive, but it is USB 3.0 ready. So that's Super Speed USB, so it goes USB, then high speed, then super speed okay okay so the maximum transfer rate is up to five gigabit per second let me start out by saying that is completely unnecessary there's no single hard drive these days that is going to take advantage of that transfer rate but that's not to say that usb 3.0's transfer rates are uh, totally unnecessary because what you could have potentially is a hard drive enclosure that contains you know four usb or sorry four usb four hard drives and you can read and write to all of them at the same time, say for example in like a RAID 0 or something like that, so then you'd really need that extra speed. Okay, so basically USB 3.0 is about, hmm, let me think, so it's about three times faster than eSATA, which is in turn about three times faster than USB 1.1, I believe, let me just think. So 480 megabit per second is USB 2. Did I say 1.1? Wow, I'm getting very confused here. Why don't I just read off the box to make life simpler for myself? Okay, so it's backwards compatible with USB 2.0 or 1.1. It's hot swappable, so you can plug and play without rebooting, which would be pretty typical of a USB anything device. Okay, so maximum transfer rates. Ah, here we go. So they give us the specs. So the maximum transfer rates are up to 480 megabit per second, which means that almost any hard drive these days is going to be bottlenecked by USB 2.0. However, USB 3.0 at 5 gigabits per second is going to be more than enough for any modern hard drive. So it means that you are getting the full transfer speed out of your hard drive regardless of how fast it is. So it includes a USB 3.0 cable. All right, so you can see that the, they've got like a standard, you, the, you recognize this one, connector. And then this one is a USB 3, this is a new USB 3.0 standard. So that's gonna go into the back of the external drive. Then you have some, oh, he's gonna look at that some more. You couldn't see it well enough before? Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right, and then we've got some mounting screws. Okay, so these two black ones go at the back of the unit to install the, uh, the hard drive cage, and then these four for attaching the hard drive to the sled. Okay, instruction manual. I just told you everything you pretty much need to know about how to uh, how to use it. Here's a little stand. So if you want the uh, if you want the enclosure to sit on your desk like this, then this is the little stand for it to sit in. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward as well. And then next, this is going to be the power adapter, which looks exactly like it did for the old uh, Nexstar 2 or Nexstar. Maybe it is a Nexstar 3, but the old USB 2.0 eSATA one. I have one of these. It's a great little enclosure, actually. I've had it for years and it still looks, it even still looks all shiny. They've managed to do a, a shiny finish that doesn't attract fingerprints too badly. So it looks like the new one, the Super Speed Nexstar 3, they've obviously dropped the eSATA interface because eSATA at 150 megabit per second is not nearly as fast as USB 3.0 at five, ah, sorry, what is it? A hundred and blah, 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 no, no, no. What does SATA run at? So the new SATA is three gigabit per second. The old one is 1.5. Oh no, the new one is six. Okay, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So eSATA is 1.5 gigabit per second, and this runs at five. So eSATA is completely redundant on something like this. It's all about speed. All right, so you've got a power plug here, then you've got a power switch. You can see that the unit will just come apart just like that. Okay, so this is the sled I was talking about. So you plug the hard drive in this way. It seems to have mounting holes for you to mount it on the bottom. So you plug in your four, or you screw in your four screws there. All right, so let me see this little header right here, this guy right there, you just plug in this one. It goes in either way. It actually totally doesn't matter. You just install it one of the two ways that it fits on there, and then that's going to power the front indicator LED. So this little Vantech logo here will light up blue. Okay, so let's have a look at sort of the unit itself overall. So this just slides in on these little guides right here. You can see how that fits in just like that. So we'll just tuck that in there just like it was before. Oops, uh-oh, sort of like it was before. There we go. Okay, so you got kind of like a black, shiny, somewhat brushed looking finish. Can you see that okay in the camera? Okay, good. And then the top is kind of rounded. And then the other side, you've got the same thing, kind of a nice shiny, uh, nice shiny brushed finish on the metal there. And the bottom looks like that. All right, 
front. It's got chrome accents and whatnot. So I think that pretty much concludes it. Thank you for checking out my uh, unboxing and first look here at the Nexstar 3 Super Speed Black USB 3 hard drive.